Warangal district. He obtained degree in civil engineering from Usmania University, College of Hyderabad in the year 1952. After graduation, Sri M. Reddy joined Hyderabad State PWD Department and was posted to Tungabhadra project where he served till the year January 1956. Thereafter, he worked in Nagajan Sagar Dam from the year 1958 to 1961. Late engineer M. Tirupati Reddy was responsible for completion of prestigious Petavagu aqueduct of Sri, Sri Ram Sagar project from the uh, 1968 to 1972 and creation of irrigation facilities for 2,500 acres, very much appreciated by World Bank engineers. Late engineer M. Sirupad Reddy was sent to United Kingdom and USA for training in the design and installation of cableways in British Ropeway Engineering Company, London, and USA, Sri Tirupati Reddy undergone training in, in the United States of Russia in concrete design mix and related subjects of dam engineering after 26 years of service with the government of the then Andhra Pradesh. He took voluntary retirement and took up foreign assignment as chief civil engineer in Zambia Electricity Supply Corporation and was in charge of ITJHE ZHI Rockville Dam and its surveillance and a tributary of Jambeji River till the year February 1983. Later, Engineer Tirupati Reddy joined SCW Shoe Constructions Limited, now SCW Infrastructure Limited, as Chief Engineer in the year 1983. He was responsible for successful completion of several dams and barrages in Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Andhra Pradesh. Based on his achievements, he was elevated as director and continued in this position with active professionalism. Engineer M. Sirupad Reddy has come up by dint of hard work with commitment right from his student days. Sri M. Tirupati Reddy passed away on 10th February 2021. Late engineer M. Tirupati Reddy endowment lecture is being conducted from the year 2012. Telangana State Center of the Institution of Business is presently <clears throat> issuing certificates and medals to outstanding academic four years performance and securing the highest percentage of marks in the Bachelor of Engineering or Technology in Civil Engineering from the College of JNTU and University College of Engineering, Usmane University and National Institute of Technology, Warangal, in honor of the eminent engineer M. Sirupati Reddy, was this uh, irrigation and worked in irrigation and CAD department. This year, we are also selected one student who is received from the Usmania University College of Engineering, Miss A.V.L. Hema, daughter of A.V.K. Mohan Rao. <clears throat> I am glad to inform that the Telangana State Center of the Institution of Engineers India has been regularly organizing 20 endowment lectures every year on the birthdays in the honor of eminent engineers like Engineer V. Subarao, Engineer M. Tirupati Reddy, Dr. J. Purushottam, Engineer G. Prabhakar, Engineer Koka Krishna Mohan Rao, Engineer G. V. Subbarao, Engineer T. Hanumant Rao, Engineer A. P. Ranganada Swami, Dr. S. Raghavachari, Dr. Narla Tata Rao, Engineer Matur Gopal Rao, Engineer Gurram Kodreti, Engineer Atlur Venkateshwar Rao, and Dr. John A. Murray, Dr. N. V. R. L. N. Rao, and engineers L. Venkatakrishna Iyer, K. V. Srinivas Rao, and M. L. Swami, Dr. A. Ramakrishna, 
and engineer I. Basavaraju endowment lectures. The endowment lectures are being delivered by people of high eminence with considerable professional experience to throw light on important emerging topics of today's relevance. Today, the Telangana Sales Center has arranged the Engineer M. Tirupati 12th Endowment Lecture on Space Technology for Water Resources Development and Management by Dr. G. Srinivas Reddy, Additional Director General Telangana Remote Sensing Application Center, Planning Department, Government of Telangana. I also would like to bring it to your kind knowledge that the Telangana State Center has been doing uh, the programs almost every third or fourth day uh, for the past one year. And also proud to inform you that the Telangana State Center has been awarded Best State Center Award for the year 2021 to and 22. Since I know we are all eagerly awaiting and anxiously to hear the talk from our eminent speaker, Dr. G.S. Redigaru. I limit myself here and hope that you will really enjoy his talk. Uh, <clears throat> on behalf of the Telangana State Center of IEI and on my own behalf, I once again extend a hearty welcome to the speaker, Dr. G. Srinivas Reddy, Additional Director General, and all of you to this important event. Before I request the Dr. G. Srinivas Reddy Garu, I request uh, Engineer Prashant to kindly read out and introduce uh, the today's speaker, respected speaker to the audience. Thank you very much. And over to Engineer Prashant. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, a warm evening to all the dignitaries in the Zoom webinar. And I was very much privileged to introduce today's chief guest and the speaker, Dr. G. Srinivas Reddy Garu. Dr. G. Srinivas Reddy is a senior space technology application scientist, presently working as additional director general at Telangana State Remote Sensing Applications Center, TRAC, Government of Telangana. Dr. Reddy, prior to joining the TRAC of Government of Telangana, was with National Remote Sensing Center or ISRO, government of, that is, government of India. He has 25 years of experience in development and management of natural resources in different parts of the country using space technologies, remote sensing, and geographical information system. In the state, he is instrumental in utilizing utilization of bringing track Telangana Remote Sensing Center into limelight, and he is executing many state and national level projects. Some of the important projects such as asset mapping, georeferencing of mining leases, land records modernization, rainwater harvesting for groundwater recharge and are noteworthy. Under the guidance of Dr. Reddy, TRAC facilitated Honorable Chief Minister of Telangana to reorganize the administrative unit mandals, revenue divisions, districts scientifically with ease on interactive mode, which has been appreciated by Honorable Chief Minister. With this, I will hand over it to today's speaker to continue the topic. Thank you. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you, Prashantji. And uh, uh, good evening to all the senior uh, engineers who are uh, present in this webinar meeting. So, so most of the most of the people whom I am seeing on the uh, screen, uh, many of them I know personally, but uh, somehow I don't know, uh, my, I have not come across, uh, personally I don't know Tirupathari uh, Tigaru, but uh, I heard through, uh, I mean, I have gone through his uh, uh, I mean, uh, work and also I, I heard from many of his colleagues and that he is a great engineer and also very committed and very talented uh, engineer. So very, thank you very much, sir, for uh, the organizers of this meeting for giving an opportunity to me to deliver the endowment lecture on, uh, on the occasion of uh, such a great uh, engineer and uh, to share my, I mean, I actually I was thinking because many of the 
engineer, senior engineers are personally known to me. So I am there in the state center uh, dealing with the remote sensing and uh, space technology subject. So because the technology is very useful to the uh, state development and uh, uh, I mean, uh, particularly the water resources sector. So I am thinking about for the last so many years, I was trying to uh, grab the opportunity to introduce uh, I mean, this uh, technology to the uh, uh, to particularly you people because you are very uh, senior people, retired engineers, very active in the Telangana state, uh, doing a lot of uh, service to the state, even uh, I mean, uh, being uh, retired uh, engineers also. I have uh, seen many parts of the country, I have interacted with the many engineering departments in different states, but nowhere I have seen uh, such a uh, I mean, vibrant and very uh, I mean, uh, youthful, very young and very energetic uh, uh, retired engineers association in uh, anywhere. So here in Telangana, so many you know, good works are being done by the engineers association. I'm very happy to uh, be I mean, uh, associated with you and interact with you and talk about, I mean, share. Of course, I'm uh, <laughs> compared to you. So in your department, in your sector, I'm very junior, but even then, because I'm dealing with the technology, so whatever uh, I, mean, I have worked and whatever experience I gained, whatever knowledge uh, I, mean, I have acquired through my, I mean, during my service in this uh, field, just I want to share. But uh, just to, I want to confess that uh, remote sensing and space technology is such a subject. It is something to do with uh, space. Space means about uh, I mean locations and about the uh, maps and about the data. So about the graphics, uh, strictly speaking. Uh, so all the uh, information, uh, if I can show, uh, if I can uh, I mean, present the uh, my presentation with the help of the pictures and uh, images and uh, whatever. Uh, uh, graphics uh, that uh, if it will be very effective, but uh, since uh, of course I can show some slides, but if uh, it would have been a uh, I mean, physical meeting, so <laughs> I was thinking that <coughs> really I want to introduce our subject to uh, to great extent to all uh, you people because you are all very important in the development of the state, but uh, nevertheless, so even in Zoom meeting also I will try to uh show uh, i mean whatever that is possible <clears throat> but uh, the limitation is that in a, it is very uncomfortable to uh, give a full scope of the uh, subject full understanding of the subject uh, um, uh, through a <laughs> zoom meeting uh, that is uh, that was my experience and that was it so okay uh, anyhow thank you very much <clears throat> so uh, the, the the topic what because it is uh, in wantedly it was uh, selected by the organizers that the topic uh, title is uh, the space technology for uh, development and management of water resources uh, per se and uh, particularly with reference to Telangana state so that is the subject so I I am thinking that uh, the because it is a short time of uh, I mean uh, thirty minutes or forty five minutes. If I want to give an entire glimpse of the uh, uh, I mean, subject, uh, may be difficult. Though that is why I thought uh, I will uh, um, focus on four points. One is the first point is what is uh, the space technology? Uh, what we are talking about the space technology? What it really practically means to our water resources? That is uh, uh, the one point I just want to dwell upon. The next thing is the application of uh, this technology for water resources. So in this area, we, I see there are three main areas. Uh, that is uh, the groundwater. That is a very important component of water cycle and water resources, particularly in Telangana state, even after uh, so many lift irrigation schemes in the state. So groundwater plays a major role even uh, today also. So majority of the geographical area, even uh, now also irrigation is being supplied or uh, for many purposes, uh, groundwater is an important source. So that is one point I want to deal. How the space technology can be effectively used for groundwater resources evaluation and study. The other thing is uh, my next is surface water. How the technology can be used for uh, uh, development and management of surface water sources and all those things. And third one is uh, general. Uh, this water management also is an important uh, 
subject in the uh, water resources field. So the general thing is watershed management, water management in general. So the management of part of the water. So these four uh, points I just want to <coughs> I mean focus, and uh, I'll try to impress upon you the uh, the uh, utility, the usage of the remote sensing. I mean space technology for the water resources. <coughs> yeah. So I'll try to. Uh, I'm showing some uh, sharing some slides. With the help of the slides, I'll uh, just please, uh, uh, yeah, share it. Yes, slide model. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, space technology, what I was telling the space technology means generally we use in this respect uh, space technology, uh, remote sensing and GIS, geospatial technologies. So these three words we generally use space technology, remote sensing and GIS and uh, um, I mean, uh, geospatial technologies. All the uh, three are, uh, I mean, uh, are almost similar. They are used for, uh, I mean, the, 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 the particularly what we are going to discuss. So to, they deal with the subject. So remote sensing, I mean, space technology means, so sp uh, using space as a platform. So uh, the, the how water resources, uh, I mean, uh, how the water resources information can be gathered, can, it is basically uh, the space technology, uh, the components are remote sensing. Remote sensing means, uh, you see, from a distance, uh, I mean, uh, knowing about the, I mean, uh, water resources, that, uh, that is what. So from a distance, without going to the, uh, I mean, uh, the water body, or say, well, canal or whatever, water mm -hmm. resources related objects. So physically not uh, coming into contact with this, uh, I mean, objects. Hello. So, yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. Give me screen uh, convert to sir. Rawal is already displayed. Rawal is not there. Rawal is there. Screen Rawal is there. Do you want to share it, Babu? Lights are out only. Out only, sir. Okay, Nisha. Okay, Nisha. Blast only, sir. Karale. Karale. Hey, Nisha. Babu. I brought tonight. Brandy, ah, yeah, yeah, even now it's coming. Yes. So the, what I was trying to tell is space technology, remote sensing, GIS, geospatial technology, all these things are the same. So the the, the components, uh, the technologies, what we are uh, going to use for this purpose is. Uh, basically, satellite remote sensing. Satellite remote sensing means using satellites, uh, knowing about the I mean, water resources uh, subject. Uh, that is uh, the thing. And also GIS, there is a field, uh, I mean, technology called geographic information system. So whatever information that we, gain, we gather from uh, remote sensing techniques, so processing that information and making useful to the uh, the, 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 the particular uh, I mean, uh, project or particular development activity. So that is uh, that what is, uh, is called geographic information system. Similarly, the positional information, the satellite data, the moment you say remote sensing data, satellite data, it talks about the positions. So, so, so then uh, when you are talking about the positions of the locations of the... Uh, mm -hmm. Hello? Okay, so yeah. Locations of the data, so that means it is a geospatial something related to geospatial. So, so that's why the remote sensing, uh, GIS, and uh, the GPS, uh, this uh, what you call uh, geospatial technologies, all these things are uh, nothing but uh, knowing about the uh, water resources objects. Any problem, sir? Uh, hello. Prashanji, is okay? It's okay. Everything is okay, sir. Okay, okay. okay. Well, I'm going to unmute you. Right. Disturbance was there. Sir, Continue again. Yes, sir. So, this is what uh, picture you are seeing. 
So, ISRO being a I mean, premier organization in the country uh, dealing with the space technology, so they um, um, I mean, uh, send so many I mean, satellites into the orbit, and all these satellites are orbiting the Earth at about uh, 600 to 800 kilometer height. And, uh, and the satellites, uh, what you can see on the uh, image, I mean, slide. Uh, so, in the satellite, you will find the sensors. So the sensors will be, uh, I mean, uh, sweeping the, I mean, scanning the earth, and uh, I mean, uh, and the, it, it collects the information about the, uh, I mean, uh, earth objects, and we are interested in water resources uh, uh, related objects. So and, uh, I mean, acquiring information uh, by the sensors from the satellites uh, from the height of uh, 600 to 800 kilometers. So getting information about the uh, water resources related. Uh, uh, I mean, gather, uh, acquiring the information is all about the uh, space technology the, for water resources. And the media through which the data and um, information is collected is uh, basically electromagnetic radiation. Yeah. The electromagnetic. Yeah. So is. Uh, So this basically the media, so whatever you are seeing, uh, uh, so the media is electromagnetic energy. So in electromagnetic energy, there are different windows, uh, UV, visible light, and infrared, the infrared, and within the infrared, you have infrared, IR, thermal, microwave, radio. So all this wavelength regions are there. So it is nothing but electromagnetic radiation is uh, nothing but sunlight. So when the this energy, uh, interacts with the energy that is, uh, I mean, energy coming from the sun when it interacts with the, uh, I mean, water resources related objects. So it, uh, I mean, absorbs energy, it reflects energy, it interacts with the energy and give uh, the refl reflect back to the satellite, uh, the, that means sensor, uh, the information uh, uh, relating to that particular object. And that information is gathered by the uh, satellite and it will send to the uh, send to the ground and uh, in ISRO, um, and particularly in NRS in Balanagar, we process that information and generate uh, uh, images, uh, satellite data. So that data uh, is basically nothing but it contains uh, water resources related information. Yeah, yeah. So the the the, the information, particularly with uh, I mean, what type of information, what information it gathers. Uh, the satellites gathers generally is, I mean, uh, of course, all these things are uh, not relevant, particularly about uh, the, it gives information about the vegetation, it gives information about the soil, uh, that means soil means the soil moisture. Yeah, soil moisture. Yeah, soil moisture. It gives information about the Yeah, and also... Please mute. Please accept this. Yes. Okay. So we are interested in uh, in the present context. So we are interested to know um, I mean, in these four aspects. So that is uh, vegetation, soil, groundwater, surface water. Surface groundwater means uh, about uh, its. Um, and, uh, uh, how it occurs, I mean, all this, the particularly surface water when it comes, uh, the, the particular, it gives information about the water level and water body dynamics. So basically, uh, to put in uh, simple words, so simple, uh, to simplify that, so the satellites uh, that orbiting the Earth, it gathers information about these uh, four aspects. So, so these four aspects uh, put together, uh, it gives, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we can do a lot many things uh, related to water resources uh, development and management. Yeah. So basically, uh, if you see uh, the, the structure of the data, the how the satellite data is, uh, yeah. So how the satellite data looks like and uh, how technically what it means. So you can see the picture. So it, it is it is in the bit of uh, it is array of pixels. So each uh, I mean ground is observed in terms of uh, 
pixels. Pixels in the means uh, if, for, in case, for example, 30 meter by 30 meter ground is uh, observed and the information, whatever uh, that is uh, water related information, it is there, uh, it will be picked up. And uh, so, and the information is uh, I mean, uh, registered and that will be uh, sent to the ground for uh, utilization. So uh, the, what I mean, so the, the whatever image you are seeing, it will be in the form of different pixels. You can see very clearly the uh, all boxes. You know, these are called pixels. Each pixel represents uh, some area. Some area means uh, it can be 30 meter by 30 meter, 10 meter by 10 meter, uh, one meter by one meter, the, that I will uh, tell you in uh, due course of time. But uh, some ground of the, uh, some ground it will be uh, pictured and it will be uh, measured and the digital number is given. So the digital number uh, reflects the earth objects. So suppose a water body is there, in a minor irrigation tank is there. So it, it tells, the digital number tells that, uh, so that is a water, water body, it is a canal. It is a stream course. It is a river. So something. It is a soil moisture area. It is a. It is a vegetation. It is a particular type of crop. So the digital number uh, it tells you uh, the type of object, the condition of the object. Yeah. So you can see very clearly the depending upon the size of the pixel. So we call it as. Uh, I mean, there are uh, the satellite images are. Uh, uh, called, I mean, there are uh, coarse resolution uh, satellite images. So, for example, here you can see entire Nagarjun Sagar I cut uh, in, a, in, a, in a green color. You can see very clearly. And the, the above this, uh, above that, the I think it is some other already canal uh, area. So this is one command, and the, this is another command. You can see very clearly see uh, the uh, the command area. So that is uh, in the Nagarjun Sagar area. The course resolution uh, images gives you this type of information. Uh, when you see, I mean, in a different, uh, I mean, uh, mode. So you can also see very clearly in a different color. So the canal command area in the same Nagarjan Sagar it appears like this. So if you use medium, uh, medium resolution images, you can very clearly see the uh, network of the canals also very clearly. You can see very clearly the major canal, the distributary canal, and the sub field canals also very clearly. Can be. If you go to high resolution images, you can see even the field canals also very clearly, and the crop, and the, the moisture content, and the command, and all the, so many details you can see very clearly on the high spatial resolution. So, depending upon the requirement, so we generally select the uh, what type of uh, images are to be satellite data is to be used for our study uh, that we will decide. So depending upon the requirement, we use uh, sometimes coarse, coarse spatial resolution data, sometimes medium spatial resolution data, and uh, sometimes high spatial resolution data. Yeah. And this is one thing. So spatial resolution of uh, satellite data is one of the important uh, uh, condition uh, for uh, knowing about the uh, for knowing information about the water resources and another important uh, parameter is that as far as the data is concerned so it is it has got a multi temporal nature multi temporal means the satellites uh, today they they come visit one area and after uh, so 5 days 11 days 21 days they repeat they, they, they again revisit the same area so that uh, so you will get uh, information about the T, T0 time, T1 time, T2 time, T3 time, so multi-temporal. So, so that is what we call is multi-temporal uh, uh, data. Using this, you can uh, uh, study the water dynamics, water uh, dynamic, uh, dynamic aspects of the water bodies you can uh, study. So, so the point here I want to uh, highlight is that uh, uh, spatial resolution is one of the important <coughs> parameter and also multi-temporalness also is important uh, um, uh, parameter for studying the water resources uh, uh, development and management aspects. Yes. Yeah. So then coming to, this is all about the technology. Technology, remote sensing, uh, uh, our satellite remote sensing space technology means so the basically the satellites are orbiting the earth and uh, the uh, using the electromagnetic energy that is sunlight 
and uh, the the uh, so that uh, uh, that uh, when it interacts with the uh, I mean satellite uh, electromagnetic energy when it interacts with the uh, water resources uh, features so this type of information is generated by the satellites that is vegetation soil ground water surface water and the information is in the form of uh, the in the form of pixels in the, in the, that means bits of grounds each uh, bit of ground may what uh, type of information is there so that is basically in the form of digital number so the digital number uh, will give you the the type and the condition of the uh, water uh, water resources feature that is uh, what we are interested in. So that is uh, another. So the uh, another important parameter about the technology data is that uh, resolution of the pixel size of the uh, I mean uh, satellite image. That is coarse pixel size, medium pixel size, and uh, I mean high resolution pixel size. So if the pixel size is fine, you can see uh, you can see distributary canals also. You can see micro level. I mean minor uh, lakes and water bodies. I mean all the micro level features. If it is high resolution, uh, this thing, you can only see the reservoirs, you can only see the major canals, major things. So if it is a very high spatial resolution image, uh, you can see uh, even field level canals and uh, the, uh, whether uh, the, the, the canal is uh, carrying the water or what is the discharge and whether uh, what is the, uh, the condition also you can observe. So, and another important thing is, the temporalness, temporal acidity, multi-temporal nature will give, will facilitate the study of the dynamics of the water bodies, uh, that is. So this is all about the, in a nutshell, uh, to put you in a simplified manner. So because as I was telling, it is not a, uh, a physical meeting, it is a Zoom meeting, uh, more than this, I think it is uh, difficult to convey. So this is what about uh, the space technology, that is remote sensing, GIS, or geospatial technology uh, that what uh, I mean, uh, it can be used for water resources uh, development management. So coming to the, uh, the groundwater. So how the technology can be uh, made use for uh, uh, So, so this uh, space technology for groundwater resources. Groundwater resources may you can uh, uh, you can uh, study uh, the quantity of uh, quantity means uh, that is availability of the groundwater, the quality of the water, the sustainability of the water resources can be uh, studied may, uh, using the uh, space technology inputs. Uh, that is the satellite images and. Uh, uh, satellite uh, technology, uh, uh, satellite techniques. So, for example, here in this terrain, you can very clearly see the, the basically the, the, the subject point of view. If you see the groundwater is, uh, I mean, the occurrence and distribution of groundwater is controlled by uh, these parameters geological formation, that is uh, the rock type, or the geological formation means uh, the weathered zone. In hard rock terrains, it is, uh, I mean, the groundwater is generally. Uh, is uh, I mean, uh, occurs in the, the, the weathered formations. So geological formation means the type of rock. Type of rock means you have the, for example, you also you know, come across I mean, uh, the geological parallax language also. So there are major four or five rock types are there. Uh, that means you can see in Hyderabad, granite formation is one thing, sandstones, shales, limestones. Uh, that means basically igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks. So, and then these rocks will give rise to uh, weathering profile, different weathering uh, conditions. So, uh, so put together rock formation, type of rock and weathered uh, condition. So, it is a, one of the important parameters for occurrence and groundwater of the uh, groundwater in a given uh, area. Similarly, the farm, land farm. In the given area, what is the land form that is, uh, the, the, how the land is, uh, in which form it is there, in the form of valley it is there, or it is a hillock or a slopey area. So that uh, form, morphology also is an important parameter in the occurrence and distribution of groundwater. And another parameter is false fractures, joints. These are the weak zones in the uh, subsurface of the earth. 
so they are the basically carriers and uh, uh, I mean uh, barriers are and sometimes they also form as barrier of groundwater. So these are the important uh, parameter which controls the groundwater. And similarly, the important thing is recharge condition. So these four five parameters. Uh, they make uh, whether the in a given area the the how the groundwater prospects are there, how the occurrence and distribution of groundwater is there. So these things can be known from these uh, parameters. So the satellite images they provide uh, all these four parameter information very effectively. So even it is not possible to collect this type of information by ground surveys physically. If you see the if you visit the area also, it is very difficult to infer this information uh, just based on your, uh, this thing. Because the synoptic view, the advantage of uh, satellite data, you can see very clearly each parameter you can study very clearly. So here, example, you can see the plateau type of rocks. These are the sandstones. Here you can see, here you can see the gran granitic rocks. Here you can see the dike, dike formations. So they form as uh, barriers. And you can see here the faults and fractures. So they form as the carriers of groundwater, and this carrier is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it is, uh, I mean, in the same carrier, it is fed by, it is recharged by this water body. You can see very clearly. So this water body and this weak zone put together, it it forms as a, a very potential groundwater zone. So like that, you can see very clearly fractures. So so this all this uh, and uh, again uh, with the recharge conditions. So all put together, these four or five parameters. You can study very clearly in an integrated manner, and uh, the very effectively you can understand the groundwater regime, uh, the aquifer condition, and uh, you can create a beautiful and very meaningful information uh, like this. We can create the information uh, using the geographic information system. I was talking about the uh, geographic information system. This is what is called. Uh, out of the product uh, created using geographic information system. The satellite, uh, basically the satellite data images are the sources of information and uh, using the geographic information system, the information is inferred, processed and uh, the a product is created. So the product gives you the locations for the groundwater occurrence. You can see very clearly how much water at, at what depth you can, you can see the, in this area. The purple color area, more than 800 LPM water you can get at these depths. And similarly, in this area, 200 to 400 uh, uh, liters per minute water you can get from these areas. So like this, each uh, specifically, the, you can estimate the depth and uh, the, 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 the quantity of availability of quantity of water also uh, using this uh, uh, satellite data. So it's a very powerful tool. In my experience also, I have, uh, I have done so many projects in different parts of the country. There was a program called uh, National Drinking Water Mission. The mission objective was to supply the drinking water to the uh, scarcity villages. I mean, where the water, drinking water problem is. There is a problematic villages in uh, different parts of the country. So to supply drinking water to, to the problematic villages, so there was a project, I mean, mission was on mission mode, the government of India has taken up the program. So in that program, the, this technology, this space technology was used and this type of satellite images were used to identify the potential groundwater, uh, I mean, drinking water sources to the problematic villages. Yeah, coming to the uh, surface water, surface water, we deal with uh, surface water means water bodies. The minor irrigation is a very important uh, subject in Telangana. So there are uh, many minor irrigation tanks are there. A lot of command is there in the under the minor irrigation tanks. You can see very clearly. So under this Banda Cheru um, uh, minor irrigation tank, you can very clearly delineate the command area. Command area based on the soil moisture, based on the distribution of the so whatever uh, the, 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 what we call it is a digital number. So, so the number uh, will be reflect the, the moisture condition, the water spread and the, the command, uh, the, the signature. Very clearly you can see, see the signature of the uh, command area and you can delineate very clearly the command areas. And, uh, and you can also, the advantage is that because in the, the data is in digital format, as I was telling, 
that it is in the form of pixels and the digital numbers it is uh, very easily you can uh, manipulate handle the information digitally so you can integrate this information with the revenue records and you can also clearly uh, i mean uh, whatever the command area is there that uh, so whose farmer is uh, i mean uh, who is the owner of the uh, I mean, land and who's uh, who, the, the farmer who is getting uh, who is under the tank command also can be uh, estimated evaluated and it's a very 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 established and a powerful uh, again like ground water for surface water particularly minor irrigation tanks also very powerful tool and you can create a very good information and uh, in the state you can see you know, we have done completely in telangana all the 47900 tanks were studied and irrigation potential of so many acres were uh, estimated of course 90% of the tanks are small and less than 100 uh, acres command is there and they constitute about one third of the total irrigation area and uh, remaining area about 67 so all these uh, statistics all this uh, uh, information you can generate very effectively very meaningful it's a basically it is an authentic information because it is a it is a picture after all it is a image of the ground so you cannot have any um uh, so the, the manipulation is not possible and uh, so no not much human intervention is there that is why so whatever information that is generated through this technology so is mostly very authentic and very accurate yeah similarly there was a program called uh, you see in our telangana all the tanks so all these for, for 47000 tanks they are in the form of gulsa uh, kattu chain, uh, chain of tanks i mean uh, link uh, is a link link a link a link type of uh, 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 case you can see very clearly so the link uh, the, the one uh, one water body if it overflows it comes to this water body and then to this guy. like this uh, there is a chain of tanks and they form as a gulsu so this uh, the one one gulsu of uh, uh, i mean one gulsu will form a one entity one entity one uh, minor irrigation uh, environment so they so in telangana all these minor irrigation uh, uh, tank gulsulu were delineated uh, using this technology and there was a program to refill to, to to fill this uh, chains uh, by the lift irrigation canal network so we have also proposed uh, so the contour canals uh, so using this contour canal system how the i mean uh, these chains can be uh, linked and uh, finally uh, the chains can be filled with uh, uh, surface water yeah so coming to uh, so coming to the canal network you can see i was uh, this is all about the minor irrigation tanks coming to canals so you can see the satellite image of this uh, uh, part of nalgonda district where you can see the very clearly the command area canal command uh, i mean uh, joining these water bodies and making a very uh, uh, the command area so the picture very clearly gives you the beauty of the data is that uh, the, 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 the the every it is in the form of a pixel every ground uh, is i was telling us 1 meter by 1 meter or 10 meter by 10 meter or 30 meter by 30 meter pixel it will have x y z x y z means all the i mean uh, is a location information is very perfect area you can uh, estimate it very clearly so that is that one yeah so you can also uh, within no time you can create the command area how much command is there in the given uh, area and uh, there is a one important project you all uh, know uh, aibp project so under this project uh, it is known uh, the technology very effectively being used uh, the canal network is being mapped using the satellite data here in this case we have used cartos uh, there is a satellite called cartosat so that uh, the resolution of the satellite uh, cartos sat is 2.5 meter using the 2.5 meters uh, spatial resolution data so the field channels also can be mapped they are mapped and uh, say a network of canals is created like this and uh, you can very clearly see uh, the target uh, uh, the, the irrigation potential target is this much and the field reported is this much satellite ssv is this much so there was a, i mean uh, 
So very, it is clearly established that the satellite-based uh, assessment is very accurate, and it was uh, proved that uh, the irrigation potential estimation will be the space technology is very effective, and in the all AIBP projects, irrigation projects, the technology is being used. Similarly, irrigation potential also. Even uh, I was telling about the each my depending upon the resolution. If you take, uh, if you consider the high spatial resolution uh, image data, you can very clearly see the branch canals, field canals, and the condition of the canals, structures on the canal. Uh, aqueducts, so many, uh, it's very micro level. You, it is nothing but you are visiting physically to the field and uh, seeing the things. And uh, it is, so that is one advantage. The other advantage is at the same time, you have a synoptic view in the same uh, breadth of uh, time. Uh, you can uh, pick up the details and you can also uh, have a synoptic view. You can enter command area. Uh, you can uh, uh, see, visualize in an integrated manner. So things are, uh, yeah, so like that, uh, uh, so it is a very advantageous to have the satellite data for this type of studies for both to pick up the um, I mean, very local level details um, like uh, the structures and the, the, the works that are in progress. So, so many things can be observed at very micro level and you can create a, uh, you can study very clearly the uh, the potential uh, the details. So like that, so we have uh, for uh, all the uh, project areas in the state, uh, we have created the command uh, area maps and this type of information is uh, uh, developed, created using this technology. So technology means here, whatever that is related to Telangana, so the Telangana State Center is dealing and whatever uh, that comes under the projects, AIBP type of projects, uh, they are dealt by uh, ISRO Bala, NRS Bala Nagar. So they, they create that information. So put together in state and center, ISRO, the state center and the NRSC. So we using this technology, so we create this type of uh, information. Yeah. So for all these type of projects, so so many in the entire Telangana state, these many projects are there. Uh, these many command areas are there. All these command areas are being studied and data is being created. So, and coming to the command area monitoring crop, crop analysis. So in a given command, otherwise also in other areas also, you can also, uh, this technology very is a powerful technology to identify uh, the crops that are uh, cultivated in the given command and the type of crop and also the uh, acreage also you can estimate very clearly. Uh, because you know the pixel size, uh, you so you can simply calculate the <coughs> area uh, that is uh, cultivated by each crop. For example, in this case, in parts of Manapati district, you can uh, we have mapped paddy, chili, groundnut very effectively, and the estimates are very close to uh, ground reality. And uh, this type of uh, multi-temporal data, using uh, multi-temporal data, so many dates, because agriculture, uh, it is not in the Telangana, May, so because of uh, different uh, uh, conditions. So the crop is not grown, uh, cultivated in a single time. So it, it is cultivated in different times in the given season. So, so multi-temporal data, the advantage of multi-temporal data is that the early zone uh, crops can be picked up using the uh, suitable satellite data, the late sowing also can be picked up. So uh, integrating all the uh, different sowing date data, so you can uh, estimate the crop acreage. Similarly, so like this, you can create uh, the, 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 the crop district, the type of crops and the, the acreage also can be estimated. Yeah. So then coming to production estimates. So we have, uh, so using the satellite technology, you can uh, create estimate the NDVI, uh, normal deviation vegetation index. You can map the vegetation index, where vegetation is there. I was telling in the first slide, the satellites uh, give uh, the information about the vegetation also very, um, um, the very authentic and very clearly the, that is given. So using uh, that vegetation, you can create a vegetation index. This type of vegetation index can be created. And also, you can also create water index. Vegetation, not only it is, this will give you the vigor of the vegetation. 
this will give you the moisture condition of the uh, in a crop field in the crop field so you can uh, moisture in that that is wet, wet index also you can estimate uh, for different uh, seasons different this put together you can create vci vegetation condition index vegetation condition index this directly means the health of the crop the health of the crop it will tell vci will give you the health of the crop so based on the health of the crop the production is there are models using the models uh, and then uh, the using the vci value and the uh, with this values putting into the uh, running i mean feeding into the model you can estimate the uh, production also so this type of uh, productions are estimated and for the uh, last kharif and uh, the, the, there was a issue with the government the central government government of india state figures and central figures were not matching and uh, the, there was a controversy in a procurement in the procurement so the finally the, this uh, I mean, to resolve the issue uh, the uh, estimates that are uh, generated using this space technology ultimately were uh, considered and the uh, the dispute was resolved yeah so coming to uh, water management water management per se just i want to uh, Um, highlight the because the watershed uh, treatment and what uh, I mean harvesting rainwater harvesting is a major issue because I was telling that the groundwater is a major source in Telangana so still uh, you know, water harvesting is a important uh, uh, I mean uh, uh, important subject in the state so that is why this uh, subject also is being focused very uh, I mean uh, with uh, with a lot of thrust. so the and in this area also the again uh, the satellite remote sensing or space technology is uh, very effective very useful uh, because uh, again here also the like uh, groundwater occurrence is controlled by four five parameters uh, here also the recharge also is controlled by this uh, parameters so runoff yield has to be uh, to estimate uh, Uh, the the you see the, the rainwater uh, you see groundwater recharge is to be done means so it has to be done uh, so it is a location specific you should know uh, so to make the uh, groundwater recharge very effective meaningful recharge is to be done well so you have to uh, understand the uh, you should know the runoff yield and you should uh, also be able to understand the already conserved uh, how much water is conserved i mean in a given watershed or a given uh, area how much runoff is generated yield is generated and the generated yield how much is conserved already and what is the balance it is uh, uh, available and the available balance uh, the how to put into the ground how to put into the ground so to put into the ground that means uh, to send it to the ground water regime you should know the in the given area what is the hydrogeomorphological condition so the if the favorable hydrogeomorphological conditions are there then only the groundwater can be put into the ground the recharge can uh, takes place otherwise uh, each and every area in any uh, all the areas cannot uh, you cannot use for groundwater recharge so hydrogeology plays an important role so once uh, you uh, then uh, in a given area type of structure also uh, is very important so the site specific recharge structures are very important so you should also know the what type of structure is suitable for the given area so this uh, four five parameters uh, play very important role in uh, uh, in uh, studying or say in uh, uh, in uh, making the groundwater recharge so <coughs> these parameters again Uh, so it is very easy and very effective to study using the satellite images or uh, space technology techniques so the, the, otherwise again like groundwater these things very difficult to understand very difficult to visualize very difficult to conceive if you even visit the uh, field and uh, study at a ground level also it to uh, conceive the things very difficult so in the in this platform this images because again it gives a synoptic view an integrated environment you can see all the parameters how they behave how, how they interact with one and other so it is a, a very effective tool uh, platform to study these parameters and you can decipher the information about all these fields and ultimately you can make a recharge plan, I mean, harvesting plan how to harvest the 
uh, rain water and whatever that is uh, runoff yield that is available in the given catchment or given village and you can suggest a very the, this type of uh, uh, suitable structures suitable structures where to put uh, uh, um, and, uh, the uh, which are structures like the desilting uh, where to do and where to put construct new uh, water bodies where to make nala bands where to make percolation tanks where uh, where to make subsurface tanks so all these uh, things can be based on this analysis and uh, you can uh, very effectively to uh, can complete these activities so again i want to emphasize that uh, the satellite data satellite images are very powerful tools to study these controlling parameters and finally identify the suitable sites sites which are specific to the site so that you can very effectively recharge the groundwater yeah so i one of the, uh, the retired engineer senior colleague ramgadi sir was asking about uh, Uh, sri sailam flood flood you see I, i forgot to tell so the apart from this uh, surface water ground water and uh, of course uh, watershed treatment uh, this uh, flood also is a very important uh, uh, <coughs> phenomena so of course in telangana not much uh, flood uh, flood prone areas are limited and flood is not uh, that much uh, but uh, the technology is a very again very powerful uh, in this field flood uh, analysis flood mapping so the satellite remote sensing is always. for example i just i want to uh, draw your uh, i mean attention and uh, focus on the uh, util i mean uh, the feasibility of the satellite data for studying the uh, i mean uh, flood analysis so you can see very clearly the catchment area of the krishna basin and uh, you can uh, see the the sub basement uh, these are the figures and the sri salem uh, project also these are the uh, details you all know yeah so these are the details so these are the pictures you see before uh, uh, the uh, the heavy rainfall uh, and the, the catchment a lot of uh, runoff was there a lot of flows were there so before the that uh, flooding happened happened so what was the picture so you can see very clearly the The, this thing if uh, i mean that uh, if uh, i mean a physical meeting i can enlarge the pictures and i can show you can appreciate very uh, nicely but here it is a opaque picture it's uh, you cannot enlarge this but uh, you see because you can also uh, see uh, this uh, before the uh, flooding took place so how the river course was there how the catchment was there how the banks were there and after uh, uh, flood you can see the spread of the water and how you see it is uh, in this cyan color you can very clearly see you know, the flood water how it has come and the yeah so the, because uh, so while telling uh, i forgot to tell about uh, you see i told you also it is the satellite data uh, the uh, images satellite data gives you x y z x y z of a given given ground let us say 10 meter or 30 meter so for a pixel so z means you, you can calculate uh, the elevation also elevation also to the tune of uh, depending upon the resolution uh, in in feet also you can uh, when, uh, uh, estimate the elevation so using the elevation data generated given by the satellites you can estimate uh, the how much uh, Uh, the flooding uh, for a given uh, discharge how much area can be uh, likely to be inundated so that can be projected clearly you can see the distribution of the, the, the area of the flood that was there yeah yes yes yeah so you can see the karnul town karnul town how it got uh, inundated you can see very clearly sir no yeah you can see blue at 269.75 this was the inundation at 270 this was the inundation at 271 <coughs> yeah. 
271, this was the day, inundation. Yeah, finally, at 284, 272, huh? yeah, so this was the, so at what you can simulate the information because you have the XY, Z information uh, and uh, the, the image also is there. So you can very clearly at, at each level, at each flood level, what is the inundation that you can create very clearly. Yes, Babu, voila. Yeah, this is coming to? Huh? 290, 281 was the <coughs> MSA. Yeah. So this was the, uh, the, the, the video. Uh, huh? Before after. Yeah, you can see, you see, because uh, as I was telling that this, uh, the beauty of the uh, data is the technology is that beauty and uh, the efficacy of the technology is that it is in digital format. So you can do a lot of uh, simulation, a lot of uh, modeling uh, of the data and uh, you can uh, you see you can create this type of uh, uh, very effective uh, visualization effects. In a, Okay. Ah, video, no? ah. Yeah, you can see clearly. Yeah. River Krishna originates at Mahabaleshwar and flows to Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh, covering a distance of 1400 kilometers. Tungabhadra is the major tributary joining Krishna in Andhra Pradesh. Just below Kabuta. A stationary storm caused sudden localized downpour of a record 400 mm in just three days from 30th September to 2nd October, resulting in flash flood. PMF, that is, probable maximum flood, is likely in 10,000 years. The PMF for Sri Salem is 26.89 cents, and on the night of 2nd October, the dam received 25 lakh cents. The flood of about 700 TMZ was managed with only 145 TMZ flood pushing by safely letting out 450 TMZ into sea and storing the rest. An expert group using simulation models guided the flood management operations. Potential submergence areas were communicated 60 hours ahead, enabling the district administration to warn and evacuate the people to safer places. Awareness was created through TV channels by displaying them of medals and discharges continuously. A potential catastrophe was avoided by timely response, clear strategy, use of technology, perfect coordination, and transparent operations, giving confidence to the public. The Honorable Chief Minister led from the front. The Chief Minister appealed to the public to evacuate voluntarily. Constant vigil on flood banks by the irrigation engineers, farmers organizations and revenue officials helped prevent major breaches and safely discharge the flood water into the sea. Only time will tell the impact of handling such a huge flood on Sri Salem Dam. But for now, a major catastrophe was prevented. Yeah. Yes, Yes. So finally, yeah. Yes, no. So, so this is uh, I mean, for the flood affected mandals, uh, I mean, mandal wise also, because uh, the space technology, we also deal with the revenue data. So, we integrating the revenue data, you can uh, very clearly identify the areas which are the mandals where the flooding is taking place. So, this all analysis was done and the data was very uh, I mean, handy. 
so it was used very effectively for uh, taking the measurement I and mean, uh, controlling measurements and even the uh, vulnerability analysis also can be done because we have uh, the xy z information so the the projecting the I mean, running through a model this information you can also uh, a vulnerability analysis also if the dam breaks so the, the what are the vulnerable areas that also is uh, mapped and uh, i mean uh, uh, has been used so so the as, as i was telling all this information whatever that is another beauty of the technology is that you generate so much authentic and very uh, useful uh, uh, information uh, you see all this information sharing with the users and uh, i mean uh, using the information uh, so that is also very important all, uh, many times we generate very good valuable information but uh, the reaching to the uh, needy and reaching to the uh, the executive level so it is very important so this technology facilitates so you there is a mobile uh, you can uh, you share this information using the mobile uh, technology the uh, mobile same mobile gis mobile space technology and also you can also create there is a called portal systems so the information systems like decision support systems can be created because it is all digital information so the information can be uh, arranged using the geographic information system and a, uh, and a very effective sharing mechanisms data sharing mechanisms can be created and uh, it can be used by uh, I mean, parallelly it can be used by the uh, planners executors all the stakeholders on the uh, in the activity so this is all uh, uh, about uh, this as i was telling so because uh, if it is a physical meeting so uh, the better the things or uh, it was possible to show but however so this is in a nutshell uh, to tell you in a, i mean all the because it's a subject water resources is a very vast subject there are many components are there so all the components to deal and uh, detail discussion is not possible through video conferences so this is what uh, was possible so this is uh, it is all for your information and i will request you that because you are very powerful uh, players in the state uh, water resources development and management so this technology i appeal to you this technology uh, should, uh, please use the technology so it is very useful to uh, you thank you very much thank you sir uh, dr srinivas reddy garu for your excellent and uh, pragmatic uh, presentation sir and uh, before that i would like to wish you happy birthday and many many returns of the day oh, thank you sir <laughs> <laughs> sorry for not greeting you before starting <laughs> uh, and on behalf of myself and on behalf of the telangana state center all the committee members i convey our good wishes and uh, returns for your uh, happy birthday sir thank, thank you. you sir thank you sir thank you it was really a wonderful presentation with a lot of uh, content as you said it is not a, a subject for 40 minutes or one hour uh, yeah. having a lot of uh, this thing and uh, i also uh, being a technology electronics man i really enjoyed your uh, space technology for this water resource how uh, best it could be utilized to get the images and uh, also knowing about the and you uh, really explained uh, in detail about pixel and all those things how the size pixel looks how the picture is being images are being picturized and it's really is a wonderful i think is a very good people uh, all the uh, whoever is uh, participated they enjoyed mm -hmm. your uh, talk and they have, i think gained lot of knowledge myself has gained i think a uh, lot of knowledge about Uh, because i am a lame man for the water resources as concerned um, and really is a good uh, this one and you also uh, given how the command areas are identified by satellite images and also the dam break analysis and uh, their uh, rain water harvesting plans for the uh, ground water recharge and other parameters how they are important for the uh, discharge of the water sir as a really fantastic sir and is a wonderful presentation we thank you for uh, 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 giving us and uh, sir if time permits next time we will definitely have you for a physical meeting sir yeah yes yeah, uh, that is what the, the yes. family of the tirupati reddy sir we converted 
otherwise we were uh, happy to conduct in the physically because it makes no difference from i'm i'm sitting in the office there is no problem <laughs> physical so thank you sir thank you so nice of you and uh, really immediately i think and ramreddy gar calling you thank you content thank you very much sir now sir on your behalf i thought you will come uh, to our office uh, on your behalf i will be presenting one small medal and certificate to the student uh, uh name is aul uh, hema who is uh, the best student uh, given to us by the usmania college of engineering civil department so on your behalf i will be presenting as sir they are here uh, please come sir randi ramgad sir i read out the uh, before they come uh, the certificate and medal is awarded to miss avl hema daughter of avk mohan rao in appreciation of her outstanding academic performance uh, in securing the highest percentage uh, bachelor of engineering degree civil during 2018 2022 from the university of college of engineering usmania university hyderabad this medal is given by the telangana state center of iai hyderabad hyderabad on the occasion of 12th endowment lecture and on today in the hallowed honor of eminent engineer engineer m tirupati reddy garu superintending engineer retired irrigation from cad department of ap thank you very much everybody please come sir join your daughter we welcome you mother <coughs> In this on behalf of our chief guest and uh, speaker, Dr. Sanju Reddy Garu, I am handing over you. This is the medal. This is a gold medal, sir. All the participants. So please, uh, I think. The certificate, sir. thank you congratulations congratulations you should join like this medals and more thank you thank you now may I, uh, any family member is there who so would like to say few words about dr reddy sir uh damodar reddy garu sir damodar reddy garu i think help in student వాళ్ళ అమ్మాయి కూడా పంపించాను రాయేశం కూడా పంపించాను దే ఆర్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ అకేషన్ బట్ వాళ్ళు జైన్ అయినట్టు అనిపించలేదు అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద సిటీ ఏదో బయట ఉన్నట్టు చెప్పింది ఫోన్ చేస్తే ఫోటో కూడా వెతుకుతూ దొరకపోతే నా నా పాత దాంట్లో చూస్తే ఒకటి ఫోటో దొరికితే నేనే పంపించాను ఇంతకు ముందు తిరుపతి రెడ్డి గారు చెప్పారు ఫోటో చెప్పారు తెప్పించే గార్లెండ్ సార్ మీరేమైనా మాట్లాడతారా సార్ గురించి తిరుపతి రెడ్డి గారి గురించి తిరుపతి రెడ్డి గారు శ్రీశైలం డ్యాము కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ లో కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ కార్పొరేషన్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఇంజనీర్ గా ఉన్నప్పుడు నేను అక్కడ రెసిడెంట్ ఇంజనీర్ గా పనిచేయడం జరిగింది ఆ టైంలో సో ఆయన మనము చిన్నప్పుడు పాఠాలు చెప్పుకున్నప్పుడు అనేవాళ్ళు ఇంజనీర్ అంటే ఎలా ఉండాలంటే పిల్లలు లేవక ముందే లేదు సైట్కి వెళ్ళిపోతాడు మళ్ళీ వచ్చేవారు పిల్లలు పడుకుంటాను అనేది తిరుపతి రెడ్డి దాంట్లో నేను యాక్చువల్ గా చూశాను ఆయన రాత్రి పది పదకొండు పన్నెండు ఇంటికి కానీ ఇంటికి చేరాడు ఓ అప్పుడప్పుడు నన్ను కూడా పిలుచుకునేవాడు సైట్ మీద పన్నెండు దాకా నేను ఉండేవాడిని అతనితో ఉండి ఇద్దరం కలిసి వచ్చేవాళ్ళం నేను ఉండటం వల్ల ఒక అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఆయనకి ఏంటంటే మెకానికల్ సంబంధించినవి టిప్పర్స్ కానీ ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ కానీ అటువంటి ఏమి రాక ఫెసిలిటీస్ అన్ని అక్కడ నేను ఫిజికల్ గా ఉండటంలో అన్ని సాల్వ్ అయిపోయేటి అట్లా అవినాభావ సంబంధం ఉంది మాకు సో యూస్ టు లైక్ మీ వెరీ మచ్ 
అనుకోకుండా ఒకసారి రైల్వే స్టేషన్ లో కాచిపెట్టో కలిసిండు ఏడు ఉన్నావని అంటే ఇక్కడ స్టోర్ డివిజన్ లో అంటే ఏ నీకు పెన్షన్ రా పెన్షన్ ఎక్కర్లేదా అని ఒక కామెంట్ చేశాడు నా మీద అంటే అటువంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఏమి రావని కట్టిగా చెప్పడం జరిగింది ఆ తర్వాత కొద్ది రోజులు కాని చెల్లిపోయినాను అనుకోండి సో తిరుపతి రెడ్డి ఈజ్ ఎ గ్రేట్ మ్యాన్ ఎయిటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ అప్పుడు కూడా కెనాల్లకు దిగుతున్నాడు ఆయన సొంతంగా అని అంటే నాకు ఆశ్చర్యం వేసింది అంత హెల్దీగా ఉండేవాడు సో ఆయన ఇప్పటికి కూడా తలుచుకుంటాను థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ గివింగ్ మీ దిస్ ప్రసాద్ రెడ్డి గారు ఓకే గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ టు ఆల్ really i i felt very happy on hearing the uh, presentation of uh, dr gs reddy really it is a very vast subject and uh, because i am traveling uh, i could not uh, get all the things anyhow no. i congratulate uh, dr gs reddy garu really you should be coming to uh, institution uh, uh, very frequently we won't leave you from now onwards anyhow uh, i want to speak about uh, mr tirupati reddy some few lines you see my association with uh, tirupati reddy starts from uh, uh, 2004 when we have called for uh, uh, international bidding for uh, slbc tunnel scheme i think is a uh, few companies also participated in it and we used to uh interact uh, he used to interact with me regarding the alignment uh, and everything about uh, the uh, slpc tunnel scheme because uh, that uh, uh, tunnel he, it uh, they have to execute uh, in a uh, uh, rajiv gandhi tiger sanctuary 300 meters below the ground level with uh, tunnel boring machines not with the uh, any uh, drilling and blasting uh, uh, drilling and blasting method therefore uh he used to call me uh, now and then and in that way i used to hear about him uh, when i i was in service that uh, he is embodiment of a sincere honest and uh, hard working uh, engineer really what uh, damanna said is right and uh, he he doesn't know anything other than work that's all he doesn't know anything other than work even after uh, he is resigned um, after he resigned from the department and joined in uh, uh in a foreign service in uh, south i think in african country and advisor and uh, after retiring from that country he joined in this new company as a director really he raised that company to a higher level and uh, really till his uh, death he was uh, uh, in touch with that uh, uh, company and we have seen him uh, in, as, as an honest engineer and hard working engineer and uh, you see the first uh, uh, after uh, 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 sir uh, mr uh, alina wajing has constructed uh, these two reservoirs uh, himayat uh, hussain uh, himayat sagar and usman sagar and the advice of uh, the great engineer visheshraya but uh, after those two reservoirs we had the third uh, source of uh, drinking water that is uh, barrage uh, this uh, which barrage uh, uh, constructed on uh, river uh, manjira barrage uh, singur not singur manjira manjira barrage manjira barrage he was he was the execute engineer there and uh, really he completed within the agreement period and uh, really is uh, is a task master like a uh, uh, great uh, um, code ready garu really we can compare uh, the only engineer i could compare uh, uh, with code ready is mr tirupati reddy and uh, therefore really i am very happy to uh, share my views on that great gentleman and uh, He, he used to call on 4th february every year he, mr sham prasad please do come uh, on this day and uh, you participate in the uh, endowment lecture and that way he used to recall me anyhow we lost him and uh, really um, in, in his death we have lost a great engineer of telangana of engineering fraternity uh, anyhow we have uh, every year we used to uh, i was the, i think once or twice i was the convener for this endowment lecture also anyhow i am very uh, happy to share some views on uh, mr tirupati reddy thank you chairman garu thank you sir thank you uh, professor moidin i think uh, you want to say few words mute lo unnaru professor garu unmute gaandi professor moidin please unmute
good evening mm-hmm. one and all so i am professor mohanud near uh, really this uh, topic which is uh, given by our uh, today speaker very informative and very useful for us so uh, really participation and uh, it's a good lecture sir thank you so much okay now um, professor sir okay i'm going ahead uh i request our uh, anri secretary garu dr venkata sobai garu to kindly propose vote of thanks uh, thank you sir venkata uh, garu respected uh, speaker dr g srinivas reddy additional director general tsrac planning department government of telangana engineer b brahma reddy fie chairman ia telangana state center engineer p ram reddy committee member and convener of today's uh, event council member m samprasad reddy professor dr ramna nayak immediate uh, past chairman and other committee members uh, indri b prashant choudhary subreddy garu professor dr uh, mohammad moinuddin giant honorary secretary engineer chandramouli garu engineer damodar reddy garu uh, engineer satreddy garu the senior engineers past chairman past honorary secretaries committee members and corporate members of ia telangana state center family members of engineer m tirupati reddy garu ladies and gentlemen good evening to all so it gives me immense pleasure to perform the pleasant duty of proposing vote of thanks on behalf of the telangana state center of ia and on my own behalf i convey our sincere and profound thanks to the speaker dr g srinivas reddy garu additional director general for sparing his valuable time and giving the endowment lecture on a latest topic that is the space technology for water resources development and management thank you thank you very much sir srinivas reddy garu thank you sir i also ex- extend my sincere thanks to all the presentees a chairman of uh, past chairman and past honorary secretary of ia telangana state center council members committee members corporate members and all others who made it convenient to attend this event i also thank the representatives of media for unstinted support to cover the proceedings of this event thanks to one and all now i request all of you kindly stand for national anthem जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कड बंगा भिंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हिंद